Hi everyone, this is Mr. Steele here. Uh, a couple of you have let me know you haven't used Home Styler before maybe, so I'm just going to do a quick video showing you what's what. First thing we've got to do is come to homestyler.com and sign in. Now if you don't have an account yet, that's alright, just quickly make one using your school email address. If you have an account and you're signed in, that's great. We're going to come down to start designing for free. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take us to a new page that we can start designing in. Now I've done one of these already. Um, so I don't have a couple of the things that you guys will have pop up. You probably get a little pop-up window, close out of it, and click on new design in this tab. Once you clicked on that, you guys will get a little thing in the middle of the screen here with some different options. Just leave them as they are and click next and continue down the bottom of that screen. Once you're into this window here, the first thing we're going to do is go up to File, down to Preferences, up to Preferences in the left hand corner of this. I'm going to make our unit meters. So yours will probably be in feet to start with. We're going to make it meters just to make it a little bit easier for us at the moment, but it's important to know that architects and builders normally work in millimeters. Making sure auto save is going to be every five minutes and we're going to click save for our preferences. Next thing we're going to do is come up and click on save up here or go to file save as. We're going to put in a name for our project. We're going to call it tiny house. We're going to make sure it's private and we're going to go leave all this other stuff and just click save. Alright, first part of this tutorial is going to be making our tiny house. In your tiny house assignment sheet on page 5 there are a bunch of specifications for what your tiny house has to have in it and what it has to look like. The only specification I'm going to worry about now is the square meters that we're allowed to use. So we're allowed to use about 30. So I'm just going to make sure we don't do any more than that. So you can see I've clicked on one of these. This one here is to draw squares. This one lets you draw edges or just single walls at a time. So to start off, I'm using this draw rooms thing here. I'm going to click roughly in the middle and drag our house out. Now you can see as I move, the little numbers in the box change. So you can either drag it to where you're happy and change it afterwards, or you can drag it a bit and then type your numbers in. So you can see this top number here is highlighted blue. So I'm going to type in 5 to make that 5 meters. Once I've done that, I'm going to click enter. And you can see it changes. Now it's automatically moved me to the other box, but if I want to switch back, I'm just going to press tab. Now, I've selected the box that I want to edit, and I'm going to make that five meters as well. Press enter and that makes our room. So before you start clicking on anything to try and change stuff we need to make sure we have unselected the tool that we're using. So to do that we just press escape on our keyboards. Now we're going to have to move our mouse around a bit so we're going to zoom out so we can see our whole room and we do that by using the scroll wheel on the mouse or scrolling using the keypad on our laptop. The next thing we have to do is move our vision around our room. So all we do there is we use our left click on our mouse or our left click on our uh, little trackpad on our laptop and just move around with the mouse and that'll move our room around. We're just going to zoom back in again. And you can see this number in the middle it says 25 square meters. So I'm going to decide that I'm pretty happy with leaving my house as 25 square meters. I'm not super fast, but I will make it a little bit bigger just to show you how to use this edge tool. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on buy edge, or you can press L on your keyboard. It's up to you. I'm going to put on a little entrance way, I think. So all I'm going to do is come down to a corner of the house. I'll click on this one and I start dragging. If we wanted to do this way, you can see how our wall's not really in the right place. It's got this little bubble here that says hold control to flip the orientation. So I'm going to hold control 
and it's yep there we go so I'm pressing control and it's swapping the side the wall is on so back to here this is where I'm going to put my wall you guys can put it elsewhere or design your house to look like whatever you like I'm going to make this two meters long I've decided so I've typed two into that box and I press enter now it's automatically letting me make another wall so I'm going to make this next wall let's see I'm going to make it three meters long type in three press enter makes the wall and I don't have to click at all and I just have to drag my cursor around until our wall reaches the end of the house and I can click again and it's sorted us all out now I've finished using this tool I get rid of it and I can get rid of this little intervening wall so what I'm going to do is highlight it and click on it and there's a couple of options I can split the wall which means that I can now drag bits one way or the other or make a weird triangular little thing I'm not going to do that so I'm going to press Control Z to undo what I just did and click on the wall and I'm going to delete it so I press delete there now our house is 30.04 square meters that's probably a little bit bigger than I had in mind but I'm just going to deal with that and leave it as it is let's put in a door for our house now so houses have to have at least one door to get inside normally they've got a couple so I'm going to put a double door in my house so I click on double door and I move it to where I'm happy with it and again if we're unhappy with the size or whatever we can adjust that afterwards Oop. I just bumped my keyboard there so what we do we line it up on a wall and it will snap to the wall and we can move it along and I reckon I'm gonna put it mm, let's put it here so I click that's pretty good now if we want to move the door around we can click flip so it opens inwards or outwards might make mine open inwards and I think I'm pretty happy with where that is so I'm gonna click and let it be next thing I'm gonna do is put some windows in so let's get a window from down here just click the normal one I'm not gonna to worry too much about the others I'm gonna put it where I think it should be click click on it again and I'm going to drag it a bit bigger so I can either drag or I can type in this box and let's make it two Whoop. here we go so we've got a two meter wide window that looks pretty good and if you notice up here in this corner you can see what our house looks like in 3d once you've finished adding your doors and windows we're pretty much done there's not a lot of other things you need to do so if all you're doing is the floor plan, you can leave it now. But if you want to learn how to put some furniture and stuff in, I'll show you that in the next part. Right, so to put some furniture in our house, all we do is come over to the left-hand side and click on Model Library. Second thing we do is click on Catalog. And this brings up a whole bunch of different things that we might be able to click on and put in our house. So let's see what we might want to put in. We probably want to put a bathroom in our house. So let's have a look and put a toilet in. Pick any of the ones you like. I'll just pick this one. And it puts in how big a toilet would be. So I'm going to put mine over here, I think. Then I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to catalogue. I'm going to go back down to bathroom. We're going to put in a shower. I'm just going to pick this one and I'm going to plop it right in there. And the last thing I'm going to do is get a sink. So scrolling down, a oh, bit too far, bathroom, it's under vanities. And I'm just going to pick this one and whack it in there. This is probably not the best ever design for a house. It's probably a bit cumbersome and weird, but it'll do. You probably want to put a wall across if it was a real house, and in your designs, probably do that. I'm not going to, I'm just going to finish showing you a couple of other things. Obviously, we need some furniture, uh, so we click on sofas, and I'll just put a couch in. Doesn't really matter which one. 
And you'll notice that when I move it to walls, it changes direction. So I'm just going to plonk the couch here, back to catalog, grab a bed. This one will do. I'll stick that in here. And that's about it. If you want to put kitchens and stuff in, I think that should be fine. Uh, just check what your assignment sheet says about having to add furniture or special rooms or whatever. Otherwise, you guys should be good to go with what I've shown you here. Again, if you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, save your work and take some screenshots of it. Now, if you're on a Mac computer, um, you'll want to press Shift, Command, and the number 4 all at the same time. And it'll bring up a little crosshair that you can click and drag a photo with. If you're on a Windows computer, we're going to push the Windows button or come down here to search, look for Snipping Tool, click on that. We're going to click New and just click and drag a photo of it. Upload those into Google Classroom. I'll try and make an assignment section. Uh, if you don't see one of those, just stick it in the stream. Alright, thanks guys, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any problems, otherwise I'll see you soon.